All right, so we all know Microsoft isn't the best with browsers, especially when it came to Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer was probably one of the worst browsers ever created. But of course, we didn't know that until other browsers started, started to come up like Google Chrome, Firefox, you know, but Internet Explorer for one was very slow, had a poor design and crashed so many times. Like it was crazy, but you know, it came in Bruh. Bruh. so it was already built in and a lot of people still used it. So what did Microsoft do? Microsoft saw Windows 10 as an opportunity to release a new browser integrated into Windows. So they decided to release Microsoft Edge. And Microsoft Edge was very good as a browser. You know, it was fast, a lot faster than Internet Explorer, had a far nicer design and never crashed. Like in my whole time using Microsoft Edge, it's never crashed on like Internet Explorer. And you think that with all of these things that Microsoft would have the great, would be the king of browsers again, right? Well, that's actually wrong. You see, Microsoft Edge hasn't grown at all. Its market share has stayed the same, while other browsers like Google Chrome and Firefox are growing. Microsoft Edge's market share has stayed the exact growing slightly, you know? So Microsoft sees this and I'm happy Microsoft did this because they're releasing a new edge. Now, the reason I'm calling this a new edge is because this is a newer edge version. So it's not the one that you have on your computer right now. It's a newer, completely different edge. It's still called edge, I presume, but it's a completely different edge. And I'll talk about that right now. Also guys, side note, this new Microsoft Edge will work on everything from as old as Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 to the new Windows 10. Also, this will work on Mac OS. So if you are on a Mac, this will work for you. I'll be sure to put a link to the official Microsoft download page to download this. So if you want to try it out, be sure to check out the link. Okay, so why would Microsoft create a new edge? Okay, I want you to think about this. What makes my, the current Microsoft Edge stand out from its other fellow browsers? Nothing, right? I really couldn't think of nothing positive that made it stand out from other browsers. And it kinda, it's kind of sad because Microsoft created Microsoft Edge and they created the Windows operating system. So they should be able to incorporate the technologies of this software that they created with their browser, but they're not taking advantage of that. So by not doing this, Microsoft Edge has nothing to stand apart from other browsers like Google Chrome and Firefox. Another thing is you'd probably be surprised to hear this, but actually Internet Explorer is actually more popular than Microsoft Edge. Yeah, and I was surprised when I was actually going, when I was going through the stats. And when I saw Internet Explorer was more popular than Microsoft Edge, I knew that there was a problem. And I knew that Microsoft actually had to like, had to step up the game. So it's about time that they did. Also, businesses. Most of the websites that businesses use were built back in the day. So they're not built for modern day browsers. They're built for older browsers like Internet Explorer. Because of that, they rely on technologies that Internet Explorer can only provide, not browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox. That's the reason why they like to stick with Internet Explorer and not go into a newer browser. Even though they might be faster and more secure, they don't work with their the websites that they were using before. So Microsoft saw this and decided to take advantage of this and decided to merge those old legacy Internet Explorer features into this new edge that way businesses would also be able to take a piece of the pie if you'd say all right so what's new about this edge that would make you want to switch you know well first off design this new microsoft edge has probably the best design that i've seen of any browser you bring up browsers like chrome firefox opera i don't think any of them have 
designs user interfaces as nice as this new Microsoft Edge. So props to Microsoft for that. Secondly, you know how on Chrome you're able to use different profiles, create different profiles, so that way, you know, one person will have different history settings, bookmarks, stuff like that uh, for their own self. While when another person wants to use that same browser, they, they're not stuck with that person's, you know, history, bookmarks, settings, stuff like that. Well, this new Microsoft Edge actually lets you create different profiles for different people, you know, so that way everyone has their own unique personal personalized browsing experience. This is probably the biggest part, and that is that you can actually use extensions from the Chromium web store. So what I mean by this is, you know how uh, to before and with the previous Microsoft Edge to download extensions, you need to go to the Windows Store and there's barely any extensions. There was barely anything there. Like I have to admit, like almost nothing there. When you compare it to, you know, web stores like Chrome's or Firefox's. Well, now Microsoft sees this, finally understands, and now lets you download extensions from the Chrome Web Store, as you can see in the example right here. Now this is a big step up and I feel like this is one of the big things that prevented people from, you know, switching browsers because, you know, one extension, one really useful extension would be available on the Chrome Web Store, but it wouldn't be available for the Microsoft Edge. So they couldn't switch, you know, because there's some extensions that are really that useful. But now Microsoft has incorporated that, seen this, and now fixed this, and now you can actually download extensions from the Chrome Web Store to your Microsoft Edge. Another thing is web apps. So this is basically having apps, having a website run as an app. So as you can see in the example, I have a Twitter. The Twitter website right now is running as an app. That way I don't have to open the browser, type in twitter.com, blah, 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 go through that. I can just double click it and it opens up Twitter everything the feed everything like that so no problem there another big thing that i have noticed about this microsoft edge is microsoft is taking a bigger step forward in privacy so you see privacy is a pretty big topic these days you know companies are respecting your privacy you know and firefox was really the one who started this because they uh enabled tracking protection stuff like that you'll see that in if you actually want to see more about learn more about that, there's actually a video that I created why you should switch from Chrome to Firefox. But yeah, they've incorporated like tracking protection to protect your privacy. Microsoft is actually taking this approach too, and adding the most most of the features that are available on Firefox to their Microsoft Edge. So that's a really big step up for Microsoft, and I really applaud them for doing that. Overall, I feel like this new Microsoft Edge has a ch is probably going to become the m part of the most used browsers, if not the most used browser. You know, Microsoft has put in so much work into this. I couldn't I can't believe that they did all of this since the time that they released it, which was less than a year ago. So they really did a lot of work in this. Props to Microsoft for doing this, you know. Anyway, guys, that leads to the end of this video. I know I haven't been I haven't posted a video in a really long time. Guys, I'll be a lot more consistent. I've had just had some working projects that I need to get done. But yeah, I'm done those now and I'm gonna be far more consistent on my YouTube channel. So anyway guys, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Guys, it really helps me a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace and I'll catch you guys in the next one.